All right, we have a new concept this week. So thanks for being here for your teaching video. So your lesson is coming from your IXL and it will be the start lesson NTR and it's objects on a coordinate plane. So before we even go into this lesson, we wanna make sure we understand what these um, vocabulary terms are because you will see these in your directions for the questions. Okay, so some of the terms you'll need to know is X axis. So an X axis is the point, which will be just a, a dot, basically. The X axis is the point on the horizontal line. And I've drawn a horizontal line. So it's going back and forth, left to right. This is horizontal. Okay. They're going to ask you questions about the Y axis as well. So a Y axis is um, where you would find the point on the vertical line. So again, going up and down. So anything up and down is vertical, and that's the X axis. And going horizontally is the, is the X axis. So did I say that right? So again, the Y axis is vertical up and down. The X axis is horizontal left and right. Okay, you will also need to know what an ordered pair is. An ordered pair you will always find in parentheses, separated with a comma. The X will always be the first coordinate, and then the Y will come next. So just remember, think of an airplane. We, I think we did this at some point during the school year, but we haven't learned this yet. But I kind of gave you the pre-teach that the X coordinate, think of an airplane, has to, the airplane has to go across the land to pick up speed. And then once it has enough speed, it can increase in elevation and go off the ground. So always think of ordered pairs with the coordinate planes. The X axis value will be um, placed first, like an airplane going across the land, picking up speed, and then it can elevate off the ground. So X and then Y. Okay, so this is showing you how it will show the X and the Y, but then they're, they're going to plug in a value, a number. So this means I will go over this is your X value. X is always listed first, and this is your Y coordinate. So that means on a coordinate plane, I'll go across to the five, and then I'll go up two. So if you guys think about our wow chart in class, when you when we would call out the wow chart winners, um, again, going across the coordinate plane, and then up. So think of that airplane. Okay, so the two more terms you'll need is the Y coordinate, so that tells the vertical position of a point on a, on a coordinate plane. And the X coordinate tells that horizontal position of a point on a plane. So with that, I'm going to erase it. So you may need to rewind your video if you need to see this information again. We're going to look at a coordinate plane. Sometimes you'll hear it called a coordinate grid as well. So we're going to just do a basic, what you need to know in fifth grade. Okay, so it's basically like a number line. Okay, this would be point zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to go on and on and on. Okay, this one's just going to five. And then a zero's here, so this is our x axis. And going this direction would be our y axis. Okay, so I'll do the same thing. If this is zero, then this would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then you would see lines, mine are not going to be perfectly straight, but just for the purpose of doing a quick teach on this. Hopefully that's not too crooked for you guys. Okay. All right. So this would be our coordinate plane. This is our X axis. This is our Y axis. Okay. So they might give you questions like, oh, well, actually on the plane, we'll put some shapes or letters or points. And they might put like a heart right here. They might put maybe a star. Let's see if I can make a star here. 
a star right here. And then they might even give you a letter. What if they gave you a letter P and said the letter P is right here? Okay. So they might ask you, it's kind of hard to see. This is a heart. So again, this is the heart. Let me erase this a little bit more. It's hard to see on my screen. This would be a P. And this is supposed to be a star, not just a blob. See that better? Okay, hopefully you can see that. Maybe if I don't color this in, you can see it better. Is that better? Okay. So we have a heart. We have a letter P. And we have a star. Can you guys see those okay? Hopefully you can see them okay. All right. So they might ask you, um, what is the Y coordinate of the P? So what is the Y coordinate of P? Well, we know this is the X. So we need to go to Y and say, okay, well, if this is Y, where does the letter P fall? Is it at one, two, three, four, or five? So on this Y axis, where is it at? It's at three. You see that it lines up with three? So we would say, we don't know what the X is yet, but the Y coordinate was a three. So what would be the X coordinate? So let's look, see where it's at, it's right here. So we go from the origin over how many? Over one and up one, two, three. So that would be the ordered pair for point P on this coordinate plane. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what's the ordered pair for the heart. So they might tell you to find the y, y coordinate first, or they might tell you to find the x coordinate. It really doesn't matter. So think of the airplane, find the heart. So an airplane must go across the land first to pick up speed. So the heart, it goes over to two. That's our X axis or the X coordinate. And then we go up how many? How many did we go up? Just to one. So the heart is at the ordered pair, two, one. Meaning you can find the heart if you go over two from the origin, over two and up one. Okay, let's find the star. Where is the star located? I want you guys to look at it first. So think of the airplane. Where is the star located? What two number values or X and Y coordinates line up with the star? So again, take out your airplane. Go across the X axis first. Remember, always the X value first and then the Y coordinate. So go from the origin Okay, right here where these intersect, the X and the Y intersect at zero. Okay, so going across, the airplane goes across the land, picks up speed. And I see the star is at what number? So it's on the X axis of four. And the Y axis is the vertical line. So go up how many? One, two, three, four. So that would be the ordered pair for the star. All right. Okay, if you need more support, you know I am here every single day to support you guys and help you with your learning, okay? So again, even though we're not in the classroom, this is our new classroom. So please don't hesitate to call me, email me, text me. Let me know that you are still struggling and you need some extra help, okay? All right, bye-bye. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for being here.